Oh, I see. That's how we're going to play it? God believe we're going to trot out the same tired arguments ad nauseum, and no matter how many times these arguments are addressed, or how many times they are defeated, they're going to ignore it and act like these theistic arguments are forever valid and forever unrefuted, and do so generation after generation in perpetuity. Oh, okay. So which tired argument is Tim Barnett of STR Videos going to blather about? Aquinas' five ways, the ontological argument, the Leibnizian contingency argument, the moral argument? Nope. He's going with the Kalam, an argument that has most likely been addressed more times than any other theistic argument, and an argument I utterly defeated six years ago in 2012. What do you have for us, Tim? Now, given that the second premise, that the universe began to exist, is supported by both observational physics and theoretical physics, those who want to avoid the conclusion are forced to deny the first premise. Oh, I see. The second premise is supported by observational physics and theoretical physics, huh? And to avoid the conclusion, we are forced to deny the first premise? Tim doesn't tell us about any of the observational or theoretical physics that prove the second premise, so I can't really know for sure what the hell he's referring to. But I'll take a shot at it and address the usual suspects I refuted over and over and over. So theists usually trot out the Big Bang Theory. It has been known, I guess, for 30 years now that the Big Bang Theory doesn't show the universe began because it's based on general relativity, which does not take the quantum regime into account. Another one they usually trot out is the second law of thermodynamics. It comes something like this. Processes taking place in a closed system always tend toward a state of equilibrium. Or, if the universe had been here forever, it would have run out of usable energy by now. This is false since the universe is neither a closed or isolated system. Further, if the second law of thermodynamics applied in such a manner, photons would always decay, and generally speaking, they don't decay. And the third common one trotted out is the BVG theorem. All the BVG theorem shows is that inflationary-based cosmogonies cannot be past eternal or geodesically complete to the past. So Tim Barnett is wrong. We are not forced to deny the first premise to avoid the conclusion of the Kalam. Thanks for watching.